Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now in this tutorial I want to look at both Page Plus and Web Plus because um, they're very similar in certain respects mainly I suppose because they basically do the same job in the fact that they make pages of text and images Page Plus will make one so you can print it out on paper and Web Plus will make it so you can upload it to the internet but basically you are just making pages of text and or images now so in that respect both these programs do work in similar ways and can work together so what I want to have a brief look at is looking at master pages and then I'm going to use the assets and add a, make a logo and then I'm going to transfer it from page plus to web plus so that you have a uniformed look from your printed documents to your internet documents um, I find it I found it better to transfer from page plus to web plus than the other way around I'm sure it is possible but I, I had a bit of a pick of a job to try and do that so I will make the logo in Paste Plus and then I will move on to Web Plus and copy it over this is the Web Plus page that I have set up and similarly as you can see over here in the right you have a tab here that shows you the master page and if I go back to Page plus similarly you yours might be condensed like that but you can open up the master page like this so if you click on that you are working on the master page now by master page what they mean is that whatever you put on this page will be transferred to any future pages that you make because currently I only have open pa one page so what I'm do as I like I said I've clicked on the master page and I'm going to make a logo to go up here in the corner and um, to do this I'm going to use the assets I mean if you're clever enough to use programs like draw plus and what have you you could probably make your own but I'm not that clever so what I'll do is I'll, I'll open up the assets tab and I'll click browse and there is a section here for logos and I will bring this down and I'm going to pick this man climbing up a triangle so I'll just close that and then I will drag him onto the screen now you've got different options here I mean you can change the colors and they only give you three choices um, cavern moscow and mist but i'm going to be altering the colors anyway so i'm not too worried about that but you also can have just the logo you can have the logo with details underneath the logo with the details coming out of the, off the side here or from the right or from the left i'm going to select the one with the details underneath and you can then change these details so I'm going to call this my imaginary company it will be called Carlos Peaks and the motto I'm going to have is for those who dare to climb so I'll click OK on that and then we have the logo here now that is a bit big so I'm going to reduce the size down to about there but I will zoom in on it and just bring that better into view There we 
go. So this is basically the logo. So if I then click onto that, down underneath here you have a little symbol, a symbol that says ungroup objects. Because at the moment they are all one image. So if I click on this, it will unlock them all as individual. If I could come off of it. It's, it's gone and locked itself again. There we go. They're individual objects. So the first one, which is the man, it's got all these. Dots. I'm not going to alter any of these dots, which is just the basic outline of him. I'm not going to alter that, but I do want to alter the color of him. Um, at the moment, the colors are set on CMYK, but I'm going to change these to RGB. And I'm going to alter the numbers for these. So I'm going to make this one 255. This one 152. And the bottom one 33. We've got this nice orange color. Now, I want the same color for this rope. So it will continue on with the rope that it looks like it's holding. So, is it going to let me? Was it two five five? No, it's not highlighted the color. Oh, maybe because it's a line color. Let's try the line color. Oh yes, it was a line rather than an actual part of the image. So the line color is two. No, let's put it under RGB. Two five five. One five two and thirty three, I think it was, yeah, thirty three. So I'll now click onto the triangle and again change it to RGB. Now, this I want to make black and the inside of it, which should be the fill color, I believe. Let me just put in a number. Um, let's try 144. No, that's not altering the color. Oh, I did want to call change the inside of it. Oh. I will come back to that. I'll, right, let's change the text color. Again, I will change it to RGB and make that black. And then see if I can highlight this other text, which is already black. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it more to the middle, increase its size. go. Now all I have to do is try and remember how I got to the inside to change the inside color. I have done this once already. It doesn't seem to want to let me do it. Um, I was going to make this a blue inside and I must admit I can't remember how I done it. So I will not push my luck um, and I'll leave it like that. So I've changed the colours anyway of the man, the rope, and the triangle and I've altered the size of the text. So now what I want to do, if I come back to layers tab, which is next to the pages tab up here and I hold down the control key and I highlight all of those parts I can then come back to the symbol at the bottom and group those objects together so I go back to the pages tab and zoom out a bit 
so you can see the whole page. I can move those anywhere around the screen and they are now all grouped together but were different from how the original looked which was all one brown colour. Let me get rid of that assets tab, give me a bit more room. So I'll just reduce it in size just a little bit more. So there we have the master page with a logo on it. And as you can see now with page one, if I click on page one, you won't actually notice any difference here, but I'm now working on page one. It has automatically added that logo. So if I add another page, all those pages that I've added, five of them, have already got that logo on it. So it saves time. So if you're going to make a you know, six, seven, eight page book or pamphlet or what have you, and you wanted the same logo or information, like you could have uh, the address or whatever you down the bottom on every page, that will always be there. So similarly, with the web page, or website on web plus and you would obviously have more than one page you wouldn't just have a home page you would have loads of pages and you would probably want the same details on certain pages I mean other than the main menu you might want the same logo on every page so if I come back to page plus and highlight that logo I've made I can we are, I've got to be on one of the I have to go back to the master page because that's the only place you can edit this now because it's on the master page it's not actually on any of these pages so I'll go back to the master page right click and copy and then go to web plus I can paste that logo onto my web pages and then similarly I can make oh, hang on. I've done that wrong already. Let me go let me delete that. Where are you? Delete, delete, delete. I'll just press the delete key. What I should have been working on was the master A and then pasted that logo into there. And then on the home page, I could then have added a page two, and page three. So each of those pages, whichever one I click on, will have the logo on it. And because, like on Page Plus, you can't edit that now, it can't be altered unless you go to the master page and then you can. And similarly you could have altered the colours from here. I mean you could could have done the whole the whole first part of this from here because if we come to the this also has a assets page and then browse logos I'm sure that see that man on a mountain is also here but it is all in green. Um So if I choose that on here, I would then have, have altered the colours from here. But I did have a job copying and pasting from Web Plus back into Page Plus, but I had no problem copying and pasting from Page Plus to Web Plus, which is why I've done it this way round. So basically that is really that tutorial finish because it's only a, a brief description and look at how master pages work and how you can use assets to make logos and then transfer them so that your printed papers images um, documents I should say look the same 
as your web pages so you have a, a common theme and a look to your um, doc printed documents be they on paper or on the web so I hope that has been of some help to you uh, thank you and goodbye